So in our last video, I showed you how to assemble your cube in an assembly file. This time, I'm going to show you how to take your cube that you just assembled and make a presentation file. For this one, the other name for it you might have heard of as an exploded view. And you'll see why in a minute. So the first thing we need to do is go to File, New. And we're going to use the presentation file type. Okay, and you can see right here. Create an exploded view of an assembly. All right, so this one kind of looks like a piece of paper with a cylinder coming out of it. And we're going to just double click on that. And now we have our pop up for what we're going to insert into our assembly, or sorry, our presentation file. So if it doesn't automatically pop up with the file you're going to want to use, then you're just going to have to search for it in your computer. All right, so now I have my assembly inside my presentation file. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can have some room for what I'm going to be doing. And how we're going to do this is use tweak components. So the first piece I want to move is this red piece. So I'm going to click on it. And you can see how we have a couple different options here for what we want to do. And I'm going to show you the first one where we can click on our individual piece using the arrow and I want to put it about here. So what we want to see at the end is to make sure that there's a nice gap in between all five of our pieces. So now that this piece is done, all right, I'm going to click OK. Oop, clicked on the wrong thing. All right, let's do that again. I'm going to take this, move it out. All right, and then OK. Okay, so now I'm going to move the next piece, so tweak component. Uh, I'm going to take this green piece now, and I can move it with the arrow again. All right, so how I'm getting this pop-up is I'm doing a right click, and then I can press OK. And our next one, tweak component, so just click on the yellow piece, click on the arrow, move it, right click, OK. Tweak component, click on this, and this time I'm going to click on one of these kind of, uh, they kind of look like the planes from before. Oh, yep, they're the planes. So this is a new thing for the 2018 version. So if you were playing around with the 2015 version in class before, this is a little bit different than before. So we can kind of click on this and you can move it around this way. So I'm gonna just kind of move it for there. And okay. And let's kind of turn this to see what happened. Okay, so we can see how all of these are kind of in different spots. All right, so personally, I don't kind of like this line kind of going off at a weird angle. I like them all lined up nicely like they were before. So for this one, I'm actually going to undo it. And I'm going to do it the same way that I did all the other ones with the arrow. And actually, this is a new one. So let's see what this one does. So this one kind of does the same thing as the plants. For, let's see, drag to position in 3D space. So that kind of lets you move it around too. So this time, uh, instead of having a little, oop, too much, we're going back. Uh, instead of having very few options for how to move these, we have quite a few options, which is nice. But for this one, I'm just going to go kind of very basic, just having it go along the X, Y, and Z planes. Because I know for this puzzle, it works out fairly well without having any issues. So I'm going to have it centered a little bit. And that's actually the entire presentation view. So fairly simple to make, very short, not too many issues. Um, just really the big thing is make sure you have all the parts separate so nothing is overlapping. So if you have someone that has no idea what you're making, they can easily count how many pieces you have. All right, so in the next video I'm going to show you is how to actually take all of these files that you made and make work drawings out of all of them.